back to my channel and welcome to 2019 now for me it's a new year so I like to have change and when I say change the first thing I do when I change is change what I eat they've just had Christmas Christmas has gone I've eaten anything I want to eat I've sat and watched movies I've not done any exercise or anything like that so it's time for change so just been to Aldi's, picked up some really, really healthy stuff, some fresh fruit, some fresh veg, salad, bits like that. As you all know, I do have back issues. And with my back issues, I have to take medication. And the medication that I'm on has actually messed up my stomach lining. So now I am gluten-free and wheat-free, and I have to really watch what I eat. So I did have to go to Tesco's as well because sometimes Aldi doesn't always do your gluten-free stuff that you need. So, and Tesco's do. I got one and a half bags of stuff and it cost me thirty-three pounds. I mean that's just absolutely ridiculous. Um, and then we went straight to Aldi's afterwards and we got two massive bags of shopping, and it only came to twenty-eight pounds. And we got the majority of the stuff that we needed in Aldi. So, this is also if you're on a budget because. I'm telling you now, Aldi's is the best place to go if you're on a budget, in my eyes anyway. But anyway, I'm going to get onto it, I'm going to show you what I've bought and talk about my meal plans and some upcoming videos I've got planned as well. Um, I want to do like a real healthy sort of couple of videos where I show you what sort of meals I'll be making and just, just take you along my journey of my healthy 2019. But it all laid out in front of me, I've got my Audi stuff is here and I've got a few Tesco bits behind me here. So I'm going to start with the Audi stuff first and just show you and just tell you like what I'm going to make with it. And hopefully it just inspires people to go out and be healthy really. Okay, so at the moment this is what my kitchen is looking like. This is all the fresh fruit and veg that I've bought. And over here I've got some frozen bits, um, some yogurts, tin stuff. And then over here, I've got the Tesco's bits that I've picked up. Now, obviously, this isn't everything I picked up, but this is just my part of the healthy part I picked up. I picked up a few bits of my son, which is like hash browns and things like that, but I won't be touching those because, no, -uh, they're not healthy. But I'm going to start with what I've got on this side, which is the fresh fruit and the vegetables. So I picked up this chopped iceberg lettuce, which I absolutely love. I normally get the lettuce that's whole and you just cut it yourself, but the sell by date in Aldi's today wasn't great. So I picked up this stuff today and I think this is only like 99p. So this is easy to chuck in salads and in wraps. And But tonight we're going to be having a Spanish omelette with salad. So this was needed today. Also picked up some sweet potatoes. You can't go wrong with sweet potatoes. I like to cut these up into wedgies, into chips, and then just season them how I want to. And these were only 78p, I think they were, and you get quite a lot in there. They used to do the individual sweet potatoes because not all my family eat sweet potatoes, um, but I couldn't find them today and they weren't advertised at all. So I don't know if they've stopped doing those. Um, also we picked up some tomatoes for our salad, some cucumber for the salad, um, picked up some fruit, I just picked up these kiwis which look really really nice, they're actually in a bag that's resealable which is a really good idea, so I think you get, I think there's five or six kiwis in there, you get six in a pack, so yeah that's really nice, I love kiwi. I also picked up some grapes. Now I got the snack packets because I feel like every time I get a big box of grapes and put them in the fridge, they're never eaten. But I just thought if I got these small packets, then there's not so many in there and maybe they'll get eaten, they won't get wasted. So yeah, I picked up these ones, which are the seedless red grapes. And I picked up the white grapes as well. So I love grapes, I love grapes, I love fruit. I love all of that and I'm definitely going to be eating those. Picked up some mushrooms. I always pick these up. They're so cheap and friendly. So these are like 68p for a whole packet and they're good for bolognese. They're good for salads. They're good for anything really, but they're just so easy. You wash them, cut them, cook them. Done. I picked up some onions. They just give flavour to your food and I just love, love onions anyway. They're really good for you. 
Um, I picked up this broccoli. I don't normally buy this broccoli, but I saw this on someone's haul. And it's just this tender stem broccoli. So it's just broccoli, but they're on a longer stem. So I'm gonna try that out. Perhaps have that with some fish um, and some rice maybe. I just thought that would go really nice as a meal. Now moving over to this side. I picked up this fish. I love this fish um, because it's not in batter or anything like that. It's like a it's like a light dusting um, of like breadcrumbs. So it's gluten free. So it's absolutely ideal for me. And these are garlic and herb and they are so, so nice. I'll have one of these and maybe some sweet potato fries and then some veg on the side. And they are so nice, so nice. Um, I picked up some turkey mince because it's so much better for you than the beef mince and it tastes really, really nice. And I will have this with perhaps some bolognese sauce and then some pasta maybe. And the fat contents in this is so much lower. I mean, it's only 2% fat. So that's a really, really good one for you. Picked up my vegetable medley. Um, you can't go wrong with vegetable medley. I love all the stuff that's in it. Um, the whole family do so it's quick and easy chuck it in the steamer and it's done this stuff my husband absolutely loves this is the brown lentils with tahini it's basically red onions um, it's dried tomato and red peppers and it is so so nice but it's got so much protein in it as well and he absolutely loves this stuff and we have this maybe with tuna steaks or sometimes I'll have it with this fish um, but yeah, this is really, really nice. And it's such a better alternative to rice and pasta because it's not so filling, but it's got all the protein and all the source of vitamins and stuff that you need. Um, so yeah, it's really rich in protein. Then I've picked up some beef. Um, I mainly get this for the dog really, but also my husband likes it in rolls. Um, I don't tend to eat this sort of stuff. I tend to go for tin tuna and egg sandwiches and things like that. But yeah, I've got this for their pack ups and stuff. So I've got some cooked ham and some cooked chicken. So yeah, I've got two cooked chickens. Yeah, these I've just picked up for my son. He likes noodles, so quick and easy for him to cook. Um, also picked up some peanut butter. This stuff is lovely. I love crunchy peanut butter and this is 33% protein. So it's really, really good for you. And I will put this on like an apple maybe or a rice cake. You know when you want that little bit of a sweet taste in something, it just gets that little craving away. So yeah, that's why I picked this up. Also picked up these yogurts um, just for a little evening sort of treat. So I've got some yogurts and these are just the Greek style yogurts and you get raspberry, lemon, coconut and vanilla and strawberry. And you get eight in a box and I think they're only... $1.99 and you get eight, so that's not bad at all. Picked up some sweet corn to go with the salad, um, tin tuna, can't go wrong with tin tuna, um, and I got mine in brine. In fact, I picked up the wrong one because I normally get that in sunflower oil. But yeah, so I've got tuna, you get four tins of tuna there. And I picked up this sweet chilli sauce just because um, when I make a wrap, um, and maybe put chicken or something like that in it. I just flavour it a little bit with this sweet chilli sauce and it's not that bad for you. I mean, it's only 0 1.5 um, fat and 0 0.1 saturate, so it's not bad for you at all. Yeah, so that's everything that I picked up from Aldi's. Like I said, I have picked up some more stuff, but it's for my son. Um, and then on to my Tesco shop. Now, like I said, I've got to be gluten-free and wheat-free. So I picked up these rolls. I actually wanted to pick up the bagels, but I had these. I normally go for the bagels. I really like the bagels in there. Um, I like having a, an egg bagel in the morning or maybe the turkey rashes that you get in Aldi's and just putting it in a bagel. But I picked up these and they're not bad either. The saturated fat isn't too bad. It's... Uh, 0.2 saturated fat so that's not too bad at all so yeah picked up those and also I picked up these wraps these are so nice and my husband really likes these as well because they're high in protein I love them and that's Mark just walked in and also from Tesco's I picked up these 
Um, I love these copper soups. They're just so quick and easy to chuck in a cup with some water from the kettle and you've got a lunch there. And these you get with croutons as well. So you've got tomato and vegetable. And then I picked up minestrone and vegetable. Um, we're going to have sweet and sour chicken this week. So like I said, I want to be healthy. So I picked up this one that's reduced sugar. And it's just, I think it's a Tesco zone. So yeah, it just says... Sweet and sour cooking sauce. It's got, well, you know what sweet and sour's got in it. Chunky pineapple bits and everything else. So I picked up that. And to go with that, we're going to have special fried rice, which is really nice. It's got all your vegetables in it. And, yeah, and just get some chicken. Get my chicken from the butchers. And we're going to have... Um, sweet and sour chicken with the rice which is going to be a really nice meal um, I picked up these um, to go with my soup because obviously they're gluten free again and these are only 125 which I didn't think was too bad actually and they're high in fibre as well we found these sausages now I know in Aldi's they do chicken sausages but I'm not keen on them I'm not keen on them at all and then we came across these ones and excuse the name guys because I don't know why they're called heck but yeah so they're chicken sausages, so they're so much healthier for you. They're low in fat, they're gluten free, and this pack has actually got 25% saving on it as well. So these are basically chicken with basil, and then they've got tomatoes and mozzarella. So I can't wait to try those. And with those, I'm probably going to have the tahini, and I think they'd be really nice. But they're such a better alternative to pork sausages and beef sausages and things like that. So I thought I'd try them out. I'll let you know in my next video how I got on with those um, because if they're nice, I'm definitely going to be buying those again. And last but not least, these um, five beans. I absolutely love these. I love baked beans anyway, but these five beans have got everything you need. Um, they've got all different types of beans um, and they're in tomato sauce. So yeah, these are really, really good for you as well. So that is my whole shop from Tesco's. Oh, I also picked up these, which was just like, um, I just bought some eye makeup remover and some anti-dandruff shampoo. And the reason I bought anti-dandruff shampoo is because, okay, so as you can see, guys, I have colored my hair and I'm not too happy with it. My hair actually was blonde um, from mid-length, to end it was blonde and then I had my dark roots and I just thought I had enough of the blonde and I just wanted to go a bit darker um, so I coloured it but because it's been blonde for so long any colour that I put on it it just won't take properly and it's just gone really sort of wish-washy and I saw in someone's video um, that if you mix anti-dandruff shampoo and vitamin c tablets if you mix them together it takes out any hair product that you've got in your hair strips it all out and then you can start again with your box color so that is what i'm going to try and do i might even do a video on the whole thing the whole process um but if i don't i'll let you guys know how i got on with it okay so that is everything that i got from aldi's and everything i've got from tesco's if this has helped you out i hope you it's give you some inspiration to get healthy and just choose some nice healthy meals my next couple of videos are probably going to be videos of me cooking um and showing you what sort of ingredients i use and just trying to make some healthy meals so i hope you like this video today and i'll see you in the next one don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and if you haven't subscribed already that's mark by the way you know mark if you haven't subscribed already then please subscribe i'd love you to come and join my family and i'll see you in the next video guys bye Mwah.